chilly but very quiet across west central Ohio. Temperatures in those upper 20s to right around 30 degrees. Skies partly cloudy. Winds out of the northeast around 5 miles per hour to get our day started. So not a bad way to start a day. Very typical weather for this time of year as we have seen the last couple of days. And we are seeing partly cloudy skies here, but we notice more clouds as you head off to the west. You go a little further west here, west of that Mississippi River, and we start to run into some precipitation. Not an overly strong storm system, but we do notice some snow showers near Omaha, Nebraska. We do have some rain showers around Wichita, Kansas there, and more showers in the parts of Oklahoma and Arkansas. All part of a disturbance that is heading its way from the plain states and be heading its way eastward and affecting our weather from tonight into tomorrow. We are looking at really for us a combination of snow and rain, which will make for some very messy weather overnight tonight and going into the day tomorrow as temperatures will, will actually be set to cool down as the system moves through. So today uh, we are looking at partly cloudy skies at 8 a.m. 29 up to 41 by noon, partly to mostly cloudy. And then clouds gradually starting to win out later today. But we'll still get some sunshine and, and, you know, temperatures warming up fairly nicely. I think upper 40s this afternoon, not too far from 50 for some areas. So overall, this is a decent weather day before we get into that really messy weather for tonight. There is a winter weather advisory for our far northern areas. This is the best chance to get in on at least a few inches of snow, possibly up to four inches, which you get towards Defiance and Henry counties. But the rest of the area not in any weather, weather alerts. However, we're still going to get in on some slushy snow as we head into tonight, especially from Lima and points up to the north. So here's our sky cast as we go through this evening. Again, we mentioned the clouds increasing. We're still dry at 8 p.m., but as we get to about 10 o'clock tonight, that's when most of the models suggest that we're going to see precipitation begin breaking out. And you can see our location is key because if you're south, it's mostly just falling as cold rain. And we can kind of use US 30 as essentially that geographic point as far as where it's snow versus where it's falling as rain. We go through the night and we notice that rain snow line kind of just hugging that Van Wert, Delphus, Lima line here, Bluffton. So again, north, it's mostly falling as snow. We could start to get in on some slushy roadways to the north, while areas to the south like Wapakoneta, you're just seeing mostly cold rain as we go through tonight. But around Lima, we kind of go back and forth between snow and rain. And we notice temperatures are actually above freezing even where it's snowing. So obviously the snow that we get is going to be very slushy in nature mostly confined to the grass and elevated objects, but some roadways could absolutely become slushy once you get north of Lima. So just keep that in mind tonight. A better chance of some slippery travel and travel impacts to the north, while areas south, mostly just like Wapakoneta, I really think you're going to be pretty well cold rain. Again, some flakes of snow could mix in at times, and around Lima, we're really just back and forth. It's really a situation where a degree or two aloft will make a difference between whether this is rain or snow. So not an easy forecast. It really rarely ever is. It seems like around here as we're always on the border. As we go into tomorrow morning, a lot of this starts to taper off. So most of the sticking snow would be overnight and early tomorrow. A lot of that already wrapping up around sunrise, but we'll still have some pesky rain and snow throughout the day tomorrow. We could get a slushy inch or two around Lima. I think areas up to the north here, basically a line from Paulding, Ottawa, Finley, north. There could be two to four inches. And in south, pretty well, little to nothing where it mostly falls as rain. We're going to look ahead here. We're going to clear the system out of here Friday night and dry weather returns for Saturday. Of course, we have the big Lima Irish Parade. And you notice temperatures in the mid-30s, but we should be dry and wind should be fairly light. Last year we had a high of 26 for the parade. So I want to mention it could always be worse. It's not going to be as bad here. We're going to see temperatures staying chilly though into early next week. More snow showers will fly by Sunday. And I want to remind everyone that this Saturday you'll want to tune in for the first of a two-part weather series that will be hosted by our weather team. We'll look at in-depth at our always changing weather. Again, that's this Saturday, March 11th at 7:30 on NBC Lima for this special weather series.